there, my name is Bella Carls and I am one of Terry's advisors specializing in management and communication. And just so you know, I'm currently studying human resources, so I am, I guess, the resident expert on how to manage people both in person and from afar. So I'd like to bring some of those ideas to the table to help convince you, our investors, that Terry is going to be a great owner, a great boss from afar to these um, people in her Duluth location. And here's why. So I'd like to talk about communication and management. Um, and the first aspect, communication, is obviously incredibly important because Terry is going to need to be able to um, communicate so many aspects of the store as far as you know, updates to policies, any new changes with products that are being sold, you know, who name, you know, you never know what it's going to be like. So I think the first way that's going to be really helpful for Terry to be able to schedule those kinds of conversations, um, because obviously she is coming from a, a long distance and, you know, she wants to make those trips worthwhile, would be using a doodle poll. Those are super simple and it's an online um, website that essentially allows Terry um, or I guess you could do it from the opposite end. It could be our store manager in Duluth who could send out a bunch of meeting dates and potential meeting dates, email them to the parties involved, whether it's just between the store manager and Terry or a bunch of employees, a bunch of other people, it doesn't matter, or our investors. Um, and it allows people to essentially select the dates that best fit into their schedule. They can select as many or as little as possible. And then all of those answers get fed back into the online system and anybody who's a part of the poll can look and see um, when other people are available and it essentially is the more green check marks on a certain date means that more people are available that date and so um, it's a good way of scheduling things rather than you know hey can you do this date can you do this date sending constant emails it's just really efficient um, another really important tool as far as management and communication it's a nice bridge between those would be a tiny pulse and that is a specific um, kind of application. There's many different applications like this, but it's very common in the HR world, and they are essentially um, tiny little surveys or updates that you would send out to your staff to keep them updated on stuff. So, for example, Terry could send out a little blurb such as, you know, please rate how your day is going on a scale of one to five, and it could ping to everybody, every employee's, you know, cell phones or iPods or something, or maybe on the computers, or maybe they have an Apple Watch or something, any sort of app bearing device. And people can log on and be like, oh, like Terry just asked me this question. I'm gonna, you know, say my, my day's a four today. Terry can keep herself updated. And I'm like, all right, this is how my day is going. This is how everybody in the Duluth store is feeling today. These are some issues I might need to address. And those questions can be completely customized. They're, they can be as fun as like, please pick one of these emojis to describe how you're feeling today. Or you could ask a question, you know, how do you feel about this product being added to the lineup? How do you feel about, you know, changing hours from this time to this time? You can send out so many questions, so many surveys, and then people can respond to them super quickly. So it's really easy to combine technology and management in the same way. And it's an easy way to stay updated and can um, give Terry a better sense of like small little details rather than making a whole trip all the way to Duluth if that's just not feasible for her. Um, and it's also something that our store manager could control as well. So if Terry wants to, you know, add our store manager as another admin to the program, she could really easily do that. Moving on into um, the management sort of things, if Terry is looking to hold maybe some online trainings or even just, you know, share quarterly updates as far as sales, how things are going, how customer reviews are going, really anything. If she wants to have that that in-person conversation but just physically can't make the time to work, um, a really great online tool would be WebEx. And I have personally been a part of several WebEx training kind of seminars um, on the receiving end of them, but they are very similar to how Skype works. Um, but are a little bit more professional and geared towards the business world. And essentially, if you know Terry agrees to do this, she could hold presentations, trainings, whatever she wants to. She can have you know slides come up. She can show graphs and diagrams, um, a lot of things, all while her voice is moderating the whole thing. And anybody that is participating on the WebEx, you can have unlimited people, unlike with Skype, where you have to pay. You can have as many people as you want, as long as they have the link and the um, directions on how to log on. 
these people who are viewing can send in questions, um, kind of like a little text box that's in the corner, and Terry can see them real time if she wants to respond to them right then and there, or you know save them to the end of her presentation and then comment on them all. So that is a really great way. And then you can share the PowerPoint slides at the end of your seminar, and so that's a great way to obviously cover the training aspect. But you could you know hold some sort of town hall type meeting. You could share any sort of you know monthly communications updating type meeting. Um, anything can be done with WebEx. So that's a really great tool to do that. And my final tool is very HR based and these are one of Staff Squared is the example that I'm going to use, but it's an example of an HR online application that is essentially the tool to house all of your employee personnel files, performance reviews, um, you know, personal information, onboarding, scheduling, anything that an HR manager could dream of could be essentially managed on this tool and so that would be a great way for Terry obviously she doesn't have you know someone in that position it's um, not feasible right now to have someone completely dedicated to HR so this would be her tool to manage all of those things so she can allow her employees to see their performance reviews online once they are given um, any sort of scheduling you know maybe once a doodle poll comes back and we've got answers we can put those things on the calendar um, you know, if there's a new hire coming, you know, Ter and Terry can't meet them quite that moment, she can send onboarding files over to them and help them with that orientation process. Um, it's, it's just an awesome way for her to manage both the, the people aspect of it and relating to her employees, but also from the owner of a business standpoint where she's got, you know, files that need to be electronically secured and stored and she has things that need to be, um, you know, kept where they should be, should, you know, should they be needed, like emergency contact information or anything like that. So um, Staff Squared is just one of many tools that she could possibly use. Um, and like I mentioned before, I just have four online tools that Terry could utilize. And, you know, as one of her advisors, I wouldn't recommend them if I didn't either personally use them myself or have experience with them or have heard nothing but rave reviews. So if you have any questions about these four tools, um, feel free to contact me. My contact information will be in the bottom bar below of this video. And I hope that it was helpful in helping to make your decision. And I'm looking forward to working with you.